Greetings everybody, I'm low budget Chris and today I play Digimon Masters Online, a game that uh, that's got online just today on Steam and uh, it went so good that the server broke down almost the whole day. Now I'm testing it, I must say, I'm a really big Digimon fan. And let's make a new character to show you how this even works. First you pick one of these four char characters. These are the characters as Digimon Data Squad. And I must say, from all Digimon, uh, from the whole series, I found Data Squad was the worst one. I didn't like so many things on them. But let's first talk about this girl. In the description you can read, she's 18 years old. And then we have these two boys, they are both, they are both 14. I mean, can you see any difference in there? I mean, jeez, Japan and her animes, right? Let's pick one, give him a name. Low budget kr. Yo, low budget kr. And then we can pick one of the four Digimons from Data Squad. Let's go with this one here and call him LBC and create. And then we start. So nothing complicated about the starting screen. Master, it seems that someone needs our help. So that are we. It looks like a normal RPG interface. Ah, we get our first quest from Agumon. Uh, ah, so work that. Come here to escape from that member. I will help you with things I can. Huh, you are print. Wait, huh? You are bring Digimon over to here, so you, your Digimon have escaped from that sender. But as I see, you don't know anything about digital world. Mm. I think I know enough. Ah, let's click quest, yeah, I know how this works. It works like every other MMORPG. You can talk with me again to complete the quest. Ah, so, one of these quests. What did I get even before? Inventory expansion and warehouse expansion. Okay, the slots are always good. How to move? If I didn't know how to move, I wouldn't even be able to speak with you. <laughs> and I get more expanded inventories. Oh, I can move with real SD. That's Good to know. Let's make it easier. <laughs> oh, that I'm making myself a fool of. Um, finding NPC. Hurry, still chasing you. Let me teach the way to chase person. Click it. Um, click NPC. NPC. And. Tutorial Chase Agumon. Oh, nice! Crest, ma crest marker. That will that pos that will make lots of crests. Lot a lot easier. Man, I'm doing hard with these words. Can I close that? I can move it. Okay, what have you? Finding NPC, nice job. Oh, did I get my first level up? Time to battle, nice. Now we can even see the battle functions. Uh, seems, yeah, start battle, accept. Press M, press monsters, and Warmond. 
Not one of the strongest Digi Digimons, but he will do it. I mean, he's he's right for a tutorial enemy and use skills. Okay, this uh, works auto, and I can press skills. Let's attack this and press this. Wow, nice punches. And punch him too. In your face! Okay, that are the abilities of my Digimon, but what have I? Attack, follow, standby. Ah, then he raids and then he follows. Good. And he can pick up things. And change Digimon, that seems we can have more than one Digimon, which is a good thing. Uh, whoop. Now you can escape the underpass. Ah, here comes the story. Stop right here, you can't run away anymore. I can't stop to protect my partner LBZ. What is? I can't feel Digizole. You're the one. Ah, guys, if you're interested in the story, you can probably read it for yourself. Because I want to see what this game has to offer. And at which point and if even this game is uh, buy to win. Because that is the biggest problem by such games. They are great, they work great, and then uh, you have to buy shit to progress at some point. Dig you eyes on the bottom right. I don't even know what the 500 cent hot means. Ah, did you eyes? Oh, now we get the crest to fight against the real enemy. How to battle with Digivice? Oh, I can even double click to make this go faster. And he's there. Okay, I must... Yep, I have him marked. Ah, and here the training Digimon. Okay, fight him. Punch him, punch him in the face. It's somehow really funny. Um, <laughs> I'm not used to to stand next to someone who's fighting for me. Normally I am the one who is in the fight, but that is Digimon, you're standing next to someone who fights for you. Okay, this is how simple it is. You arrived at the target location. Reeve, scan and return quest. Uh, shit. Yeah, that one. Scan. Accept. And go on! Tutorial scan return pawn chest moon. Real scan item tutorial. No, uh, wait. Let's talk with pawn chest moon. Is he in this area or must I um, search for him? I already forgot how to search for NPCs. Wait, this was. Close that. Close that M. NPC. Pawn chest mod. And there he is. Ah, okay, I couldn't have found. So. I'm in charge of item scan and return. Scan item. What do you scan? Oh, I scan DigiX. Di yeah, DigiX. Hmm. Ah. Pull them there and register. Okay. 
What do we have even here? Digi egg. A crack. A crack digi egg now. Talk with this guy again. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Mm, so. No. Uh, exit. Talk again. And return the item. I getting 100 and think bits is the money here. You can feel you are gradually becoming the Dead's member. That's quite easy, right? Oh, I have the inventory expansions not didn't even used. Close this guy. Cannot use this feature while tutorial. Okay. Then we make this first. Must I talk to someone or can I Yeah I can give it to my Digimons. Let's hatch it Digimon. That's an important one. Let's hatch. Whoa, that's a lot of shit. Hatch back up. Kunemon. And insectoid low class data. The incubator. Creed. Okay, how this works. First, um, what must we use? Mercenary Digi Egg will be registered. That must be that thing. Okay. Can you see the increased gouge? That's the hatch level of the mercenary Digi Digimon. Oh, what's up? Let's increase until 3 level, which is maximum level for the mercenary digi egg of tutorial time. And click hatch button to receive and name for the Digimon. What are you doing with this sword? Oh, that is the data that I need to hatch. And I think the backup uh, prevents the digi egg from <laughs> destroying if the up leveling doesn't work. That works too. Ah, I see there's some sort of 50 50 chance. And number 3. Nice sound. The third try for DJ catching was su successful. And click hatch button. Ah, now I can hatch. Tip the name. Uh, oh, oh, it's this name giving. I'm not good with that. Let's call him Bob. Oh, nice. And there we have Kunamon. And even his Digi evolving Wow, he looks sick. Very rare Digimon. If he's really rad, <laughs> he is a tutorial Digimon. But his Digi evolves looks great. Oh, I love when I can finally Digi evolve them. Okay. Nice tutorial. Hatch a Digimon. Complete. And doing that again. Reinforce the Digimon. Click start button if you're inside of that sender. Okay guys, I found it. This guy seems to teleport you right in that sender. Then we use this. And then... How this works? 
I'm putting the Digi clone in there. I must first select the stats which I want to upgrade. Attack, block, critical hit and evasion. Let's give him a nice punch. And then... Oh, it's Ah, he's using the Digi clone uh, more or less automatically. Should I use a backup disc? Have I even one? Oh yeah, I have one. After that you can register a backup disc, also optional. Then we make it without it. Man, that's laggy. Into attack 2. That's nice and good. Boop, press X. Click exit button to escape from the inside. Rest exit, right there. Next is completion for the quest, as you know. Reinforcement for Digimon. Yeah, I know how to give a crest. And... Good job, Tamer. The final crest. Okay, the final crest, and then we'll make a cut. This is the tutorial of Digimon. Maybe we'll make a small look into the shop. See what they have. Oh, what do we get? A nice package, a jump booster. You can teleport to another mob map in an instant. And a mystery mercenary digi egg tree level. Nice. Okay, show you complete. Do you know what? We first looking what we even get. Can I now use this? Nice! Couldn't they give me that... Uh, let's open that. Wow, many presents. This gives me music playing headphones. Oh, uh, oof, XP 50% increased. Avatar box. Ah, this is uh, customs. Let's wear, wear everything. And now we look completely... Yeah. <laughs> Jump boost and a digi egg. Uh, let's try if we can hatch it. There was... Wasn't there something? Okay. I know there was a uh, incubator. Okay guys, here we are again. Scan this shit. And I think it was with Um yeah, that's how it works, right? Okay. What do we have? Betamon DG egg. Then we go here. Creed. Do I even have data for that one? Ha, <laughs> shit. Well, not this time, friends. Let's go to the shop, like I promised you guys. What do we have here? Mm, seems like Digimon packages, but they don't really tell me what's in them. Let's go. Okay. Expansion. So that you can carry more Digimons or items or something. XP boosts. I can live with that. Uh, quick travel. Chats. Oh, this megaphone shit. Shop licenses. Okay. And portable Digimon hatch. Portable Digimon achieve. 
Portable Ge Scanner. Portable Return. Nice things. Golden Banana. With Golden Bananas use Digimon AP. Will record promptly. Oh, that's... A potion. Some sort of... Friendship of Digizoul. That was Tamer. Digimon, you can buy... Lots of weird things. How they how these things are game changing, I don't know yet. But there are lots of DGX to buy. Salamon. Kudamon. Ha, <laughs> great! Wow, so many Digimons. Oh, this game will be so cool. But those prizes... I mean, a uh, source of darkness is whatever this is, it's Digimon. You can use the source of darkness on UE for Digimon information. Yeah, this costs uh, $5.50 it seems. I hope you can get that uh, also in a different way, because um, the prices here are not low. 5 here, 5 there, 5 everywhere. I will definitely play more of this. I'll let you know if I found something new and interesting. Check it out for yourself, link in the descriptions. And I see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!